showcasing the work of the art students at Westside School, this latest exhibition is all about variety. The work and show is a cross-section of the different abilities and styles, with students exploring their chosen topics and themes as part of their GCSE and A-level work, from sculptures to painting, installation and even video art. Well, we try to push them as much as possible in order for them to investigate certain aspects uh, that relates to what they're interested in. But um, what you see in here is the final product, really, the, the, the final response to each project. Every single painting or sculpture or the video art has a project that goes with it, and they investigate different artists to influence the work, they investigate different possibilities, ideas, and then they finish with what you're seeing now. And when choosing that particular subject matter or theme, is it something that's chosen by the pupil, or is there quite a bit of direction from the teachers too? Teachers have an input. We, we tend to guide them and um, sometimes you might have some students who, who know exactly what they want to do. Sometimes you have other students who are not very sure and that's where we come into the equation and we, say, you know, we give them possibilities to develop. Uh, but mainly we encourage them to think about their own possible topics because we feel that if they're interested in the subject, they're going to be more interested in developing ideas and, and coming up with uh, work which is suitable for, you know, for the courses. Around 50 works are on display, with the teachers keen to show off the work being produced. It's also about giving the public access to the students' creative abilities. It gives the girls an opportunity to exhibit their work, to, um, to experience what it is to be an artist within the community and not have their work just um, stay within the context of school. Um, and in, in another sense, obviously, the community gets a, a, an open invitation to view the work which is produced in school, which they would not be seeing otherwise. So, you know, that leads to a closer link to the community for our students. It also links to consolidating their sense of actually being local artists, which I think is essential in moving forward, because what we want ultimately is for some of our, our students, or as many of them as possible, to eventually become um, active members of the local arts community. Well, as teachers, you're obviously following a curriculum, but with regards to the development of uh, art and what's being produced, are there any particular areas that you'd like to pursue further? What we try to ensure is that they are producing creative work, that they try to find their own, own voice, which is very hard. It's hard for adult artists, so it's extremely hard for students, but we just want to facilitate the process of them trying to find their own voice. If that means them producing photography, installation work, um, as a department, we're trying to branch out as much as possible because art is branching out and art is you know, no longer just strictly sculpture and painting. It's our responsibility to give them exposure to new art forms um, and to ensure that they know that they can express themselves in the art form that best suits their skills and their interest level. So finding their individuality is perhaps one of the main challenges. But what's certainly evident is that there's plenty of passion and a fresh approach when it comes to what's been produced.